Mercedes almost look like their former selves in the Australian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton finished the race second, while George Russell was in front of the pack until the race was red flagged. As such, the team is treading lightly on how to make the W14 better. And with drivers and engineers having different points of view, is Mercedes finally getting along when it comes to the evolution of the W14? Well, you've come to the right place to find out. After the season opener in Bahrain, George Russell made a confident prediction that Red Bull would emerge victorious in every race of the 2023 season due to their significant advantage. Although Max Verstappen has won two of the first three Grand Prix and Sergio Perez won the other, it is premature to make such a claim. Many teams are expected to introduce significant upgrades in the upcoming races and the competition is expected to become more intense. Mercedes is one of the teams expected to introduce a major upgrade package at the Imola race. George Russell acknowledged that they would have a better understanding of their performance after this race and conceded that he may have been too quick to make his earlier prediction. He said, Obviously, after a frustrating qualifying like the one we had in Bahrain, you say some things in the heat of the moment. I do still think Red Bull are a class ahead of everybody else and for sure Lewis, Hamilton and I got the most out of it in Australia qualifying. By the sounds of what Max is saying, there was probably still a little bit more in the locker for Red Bull. We're talking that three-tenths is a little bit. Normally, they're a second ahead. Now they're three-tenths ahead. That's still a huge amount in the world of F1. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep on pushing. Right now, we'll have to reassess the claim when we bring some upgrades to the car. That will be the first time when we truly know if they work as we expect and if we can fight them. But yeah, why not? According to CEO and team principal Toto Wolf, the Imola upgrade package is one of several major updates that Mercedes plans to introduce this season. He indicated that it would involve alterations to the layout of the W14 car, saying, I don't want to change the goals yet. I always want to think that we are here to fight for a world championship, even if it doesn't seem realistic. We are only at the beginning, and I want to keep the team motivated to do the best possible job. There are many innovations in the pipeline. The layout of the car will change at Imola, and we will see what this step entails. Lewis Hamilton has made it clear to team principal Toto Wolff where Mercedes's priorities should lie, prompting the Silver Arrows to plan a significant upgrade in time for the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix of this season. Mercedes's difficulties from the 2022 season have largely persisted into the current season. The team had been the dominant force in Formula One, winning eight consecutive Constructors' Championships before being overtaken by Red Bull last year. The timing of Mercedes's decline coincides with the introduction of new ground effect design regulations. Unlike other cars on the grid, Mercedes's car features a slim side pod design. Despite sticking to this design during the off-season, they were still struggling to remain competitive earlier this season. As a result, Toto Wolff committed to abandoning this design altogether. Although implementing such a significant change will undoubtedly require some time, Toto has stated that the first significant modifications should be prepared in time for the May race at Imola. He said, There are many innovations in the pipeline. The layout of the car will change at Imola, and we will see what this step entails. Interestingly, Lewis Hamilton believes that his seat position has been one of the crucial factors affecting his performance this season, saying, We sit closer to the front wheels than all the other drivers. Our cockpit is too close to the front. When you're driving, you feel like you're sitting on the front wheels, which is one of the worst feelings to feel when you're driving a car. If you were driving your car at home and you put the wheels right underneath your legs, you would not be happy when you're approaching the roundabout. So what that does is it really changes the attitude of the car and how you perceive its movement, and it makes it harder to predict, compared to when you're further back and you're sitting closer, more centre. It's just something I've really struggled with. McLaren has struggled in the early stages of the 2023 season, failing to meet the development goals it established for its MCL60 car over the winter. As a result, the British team announced a revamp of its technical department, including the departure of James Key as technical director and the creation of a new structure at its Woking headquarters. Lewis Hamilton has rejected the notion that Mercedes is in a comparable situation to his former team McLaren, with whom he made his F1 debut and won his first F1 championship in 2008. Well, you can't compare us to McLaren. We've won eight world titles in the last 10 years. McLaren is like an old home for me. It's old family so I'm always looking to see where they are and hoping they figure things out and become the team they once were, the team I know them as being in my earlier days and before then. So I hope whatever restructuring they're doing is good. We're still a world championship winning team. We've got amazing people who have been with us on that journey. We always need to hold ourselves accountable, each and every single one of us. 
We all need to look at how we go about things and how we do it better. There's not a single person in the team that thinks that they have done everything right and that they couldn't do things better. And everyone's just focused on correcting that and learning moving forwards collectively and improving our communication and improving how we process things. That's a huge thing for me because if you've got a group of people who are just super stuck in their ways and don't change, then you will just stay in that area of being non-competitive. But these men and women are very open-minded. That's inspiring for me to see the courage that they have. And I know that we will get there. Hamilton's current contract with Mercedes expires at the end of this season, and as of yet, there's been no agreement reached between the driver and the team regarding an extension. Although there was some optimism that a resolution would be reached during the previous winter, the negotiations have been postponed until a mutually convenient time can be found for talks to occur between Hamilton and Wolf. Mercedes is keen on Hamilton committing to a new deal, but there is a risk of not having a suitable replacement in case the seven-time world champion decides not to continue. However, Wolf has downplayed the concern and stated that he is not even thinking about fallback options, as he is relaxed about the situation, saying, I think it may sound naive, but I really struggle to think of a plan B if my plan A is still the one that is my favourite. I don't want to engage in discussions with other drivers because I'm happy with the ones that are in the team, that's for sure. At the moment, there is no plan B. It's Lewis. Although Wolf recognized that it would be far from ideal for Mercedes to have a rush for a new driver if Hamilton decided to retire later this year, he expressed confidence that such a situation was unlikely to occur. But what are your thoughts on the matter? Will Lewis hang Mercedes out to dry when the going gets tough? And is he right about which direction the W14 should take moving forward? Leave a comment down below to let us know what you're thinking. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.